In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat the Atari 2600 version of Superman in under three minutes. Let's get started. Now, I kind of think that Superman for the 2600 is kind of an underrated game. It's fun. It's one of those few games on the system where you can actually beat it. The characters are recognizable, and I think it has a pretty addictive gameplay to it. It's also one of those games that's a little bit underrated, I think. It's kind of been forgotten about. All right, before we get started, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the manual. I mean, you know, it's always a good idea to read the manual, right? By the way, I have two of them, actually. <laughs> the first one that I had, the dog chewed up, so I had to get a couple more. Um, never a bad idea to have an extra. Also, I've got uh, two different label variations of Superman. The original uh, text label right here. And then the later and, I think, much better looking uh, picture label with Superman right there on the front. Superman Game Program Instructions. Game Description. You are Superman. Receiving a tip on a bomb scare, you rush to the Metropolis waterfront. As you approach the bridge, it explodes. Lex Luthor, arch enemy of Superman, is seen leaving in a helipack. The destroyed Metropolis Memorial Bridge is important to the economy of the city. Besides catching Lex Luthor and his gang, you must find the three pieces of the bridge and rebuild it. The helicopter may help, but it's more likely it will be a hindrance. Yeah, so far that's been my experience. How to play. Well, first of all, you've got uh, the little markers up here, which represent the different henchmen. Uh, the smaller markers are just like the regular henchmen, and the big fat one there is uh, Lex Luthor. And then this here is how much time you've taken in minutes, two minutes, and then in this case, six seconds. And then on this screen has got the jail, there's Superman himself, and that's not really Luthor, that's just another one of the henchmen. Luthor's got the uh, helicopter pack. The object of this game is to put all the crooks behind bars, rebuild the bridge, change back into Clark Kent, and go to the Daily Planet in the shortest amount of time. And then it says each frame denotes a city block of Metropolis. I guess that means a screen. They are connected at each of the four adjoining sides. You can pass through all the city blocks of Metropolis by flying either east, west, north or south so it's kind of laid out like this as you travel from this screen over here you'll go to that screen and then it'll it loops around it's much bigger than this as you'll see but uh, that's kind of the basic gist of it you can enter the metropolis subway system through the doorway on any of the four subway stations so you'll see a screen will have this uh, little doorway that goes into the subway and then as you move upward through the subway it just keeps looping so there's four screens on the subway that will take you to different locations and I'll explain all that later once we get into the, uh, the nitty gritty of the game. To exit into the city from the subway system, move either east, west, or south. Each of the four different colored areas will exit into a different portion of Metropolis. For example, exiting west from the pink section will bring you to the jail. Exiting west from the yellow section will bring you to the Daily Planet. Well, that's extremely helpful because those are the only two that I really ever exit from anyways. There is a room inside the Daily Planet that is entered by passing through the doorway of the building. Once inside, you must go through the subway system before you can exit the city. So basically what this is saying is when you go into the uh, Daily Planet, any one of the four directions you go after that is going to take you into the subway. Using the controller, if you you are above or below street level you can fly in any direction by moving your joystick as shown in the diagram well you know up down left right to land return the joystick to the center or neutral position the only time it's really necessary to walk around is well you when you have to and that's uh, after the kryptonite has uh, taken away your powers to capture a crook or to carry Lois Lane or pieces of the bridge all you gotta do is touch them while flying to release them all you gotta do is just land on the ground and it'll it'll let them go to rebuild the Metropolis Memorial Bridge all three pieces must be between the two buildings to put Lex Luthor or one of the henchmen in jail fly through the bars of the jail while carrying the crook so basically you just grab them and just fly them into the jail and then x-ray vision which I found to be uh, pretty important when you're playing the game because sometimes you'll be flying around looking for stuff and you don't know which way to go but if you hold down the button and move the joystick in any one of the directions it will show you what's on the other screens so you can make a decision as to which one to go to so like if you push down and you see a bridge piece right here then you know it'd probably be a good idea to go down and get it when the right difficulty switch is in the a position the kryptonite satellites will go after you quicker and the crooks will run away from you faster when the left difficulty is in the A position, Lois Lane is a little bit harder to find. You got to go hunt for her. But if it's in the B position, she just automatically appears on the screen, which is kind of the way I like to play it. All right, let's go ahead and give it a run through. I'll show you how to uh, beat this game. All right, so here is a map created by Maurice Molyneux. And uh, he's basically mapped out the entire game for you. And for me, this is the one that I've always used. And basically, you start out here at the phone booth, and if you were to go to the right, you're going to go to the bridge. If you go to the right again, you'll go to E, which is 
down here and then it would continue on going in that direction over and over again let's say you are on the square right here and you go up you're going to go to this screen or if you go down you're going to go to this screen and left and to the right now according to the map if you're on this screen and you go down that should take you over to four which is where is four right here should take you down to this point the weird thing is that these screens don't really line up in a logical manner uh, for a lot of it so it gets confusing so i basically just throw all of that knowledge away and i just remember two things if you're in the subway press up and it will just continue to take you through the subway through those four subway screens if you're on the i think this is like the red subway screen it kind of looks purple on my screen but if you're on that screen red and you go to the left that takes you to the jail screen if you are on the blue subway screen and you push down it will take you to a screen that's right near the phone booth which is also right near the bridge so basically if you have a, a bridge piece and you're flying through the subway press down and then it will take you here and then press to the uh, right two times and boom you're on the bridge screen and then the last one to really remember would be the yellow screen and if you press to the left that will take you to the daily planet and if you're in the daily planet and you press up left down or right it will take you to any one of those four subway screens and i'm always in the habit of just pushing up all the time so i just continue to go up and up and up 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 and away i guess so really you can kind of forget about most of all this the only time when it's really necessary is when you're hunting for uh one of the bridge pieces or one of the uh, henchmen but most of them end up in the subway anyways so i always start there and just continually press upwards to um go through the cycle all right with all that said let's go ahead and uh, play a couple games all right well here we are in the game i'm just going to go ahead and press reset or start or whichever <laughs> button you have on your controller walk over there uh oh the bridge just blew up oh there goes lex luthor quick we got to get back to the phone booth now the first thing i'm going to do is just go into the subway and see if i can find anybody oh look there's somebody right there and if we get on the red subway screen we're going to go to the left and we drop the guy off in jail we'll go back into the subway and as long as you just keep pressing up You'll just keep cycling through the different subway screens. Gotta watch out for those satellites. And if you push the button and push left, right, up and down, you can use your x-ray vision to figure out what's on the other screen. So I see a bridge piece there. We're gonna go over there and get that bridge piece. Oh, that stupid satellite got me. And when we get to a blue screen, we're gonna go down. And then we're gonna go to the right two times. And that takes us to the uh, the bridge location. Now, actually, I want to go back to the subway. So we'll just keep cycling through the subway, see if we see anything. And since I'm not seeing anything up, oh, there's Lex Luthor to the right. So we'll go over there and get him. Picked him up. Now, if we go into the Daily Planet, if I go into any one of these four directions, up, down, left, or right, it will take me into the subway. If I push down, it takes me to the yellow one. So now I'm going to keep pressing up, up, oh, here we go, now we're on the red, and we just dropped him off in the jail. Just remember that the red screen to the left is where the jail is. And I'm going to use my x-ray vision to see if there's anything else out there. Oh, we got henchmen over there. Pick him up, go into the subway, and then to the right, dropped him off. Thought I saw one over there. Now this is probably the best use of the X-ray vision there's ever been in a in a Superman game. All you just do is hold down the joystick button and push up, down, left, or right to see what's on the other screens. Oh, there's one of the henchmen. Fortunately, he's right there on the red subway. Lois. Oh, there's the other henchman. And now we've got all the henchmen. Now we got to just find the last uh, two bridge pieces. Hopefully the helicopter did not take it. Oh, satellite got me. Lois can be annoying sometimes. Uh, she just won't let go. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to like pick up another bridge piece or a 
or a henchman. There's a bridge piece to the left here. Grab that. Go to the blue uh, subway screen, press down, and then we're going to press right two times. And now we just have one more, uh oh. We just have one more bridge piece to find. This may be the most time consuming part of the game, is trying to find that last piece. And sometimes if I can't find it in the subway, I'll just fly around and see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. Where did it go? Okay, it's to the uh, right here. Oh, careful, Lois. I don't need to pick you up right now. And I'm just looking for the nearest subway. Blue. Right. Two times. And then... Oh, that helicopter, get back here. Oh, it took the piece. Down, and then right. And then the bridge is fixed. Fly back to the telephone booth. And we'll walk across the bridge. Go into the subway. And it automatically takes you to the yellow subway, which if you go to the left, takes you straight to the Daily Planet. And we did that in 4 minutes and 48 seconds. Not one of my more faster uh, occurrences of the game. Alright, let's try it again. We'll press the uh, reset button. And what I do is I almost immediately turn back to the left as soon as I step on that bridge screen. Saves me a little bit of time. Oh, there's one of the henchmen. Oh, there's another henchman. He's hiding by that... Oh, man. Get off me, Lois. Can't do my job when you're in my way. All these henchmen are close to the jail. Maybe they're trying to bust out some of their other buddies. See we go. Oh, got one right here. We're in the red subway, so we'll just go to the left. Get down back into the subway. These satellites are all over the place this game. Oh, there's one right there. Gotcha. Go to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Oh, there's a bridge piece to the left. Oh, there's Lex Luthor. Must have hit a satellite. Let's go into this daily planet. Now, if you have a choice between getting a bridge piece and getting a henchman, I would probably go after the uh, bridge pieces first because they're static, they're always on that one screen. That they're on, and it's I think it's harder to find them than it is to find the um, the henchmen. Go up till we get to the blue screen, and we go down and right, and then boom, we fix the bridge. Now we just have to find Lex Luthor. Oh, I just heard him. Oh, he's up up here. Up, oh, Lois. Dang it. Go away. There he is. Gotcha. Go to jail. Okay, we're going to go to the blue screen because that's going to be closest to the phone booth. And we've already fixed the bridge, so we can go ahead and cross. Go into the subway. Left on the yellow subway screen into the Daily Planet. And two minutes and 40 seconds. Bridge explodes. We go back to the phone booth. And how quickly can we get this game done? Go into the subway, see who we can find hiding in there. Oh, a couple henchmen. Get back here. Oh my gosh, where do these guys go? Ah. I'm gonna put you in jail, Lois. Stop bothering me. Ah. Oh man, these henchmen are everywhere. Oh, there's Lex. Lex is probably the hardest to get. Oh, come on. There we go. 
Oh, there's a bridge piece to the left. We'll go get that. Down and right two times. Back into the subway. Oh. Oops, I don't want to do that. Gotcha. Oh, I just saw somebody down there. Oh, that must have been Lois. Oh, the helicopter's got my bridge piece. Now, oh, I was going to show you how if you... If the helicopter has the bridge piece, you can actually grab the helicopter and take it to the screen where the bridge is supposed to go, and it will just automatically fix itself. It's kind of cool. Alright, you got two bridge pieces there. That henchman there. Red screen is the jail. Go down. And we just have one more henchman and one more bridge piece to find. I'll start using the x-ray vision to see if we can find stuff. Oh. Alright, so let's just fly around and we'll see if we can find somebody. Oh, Lotus is on all these screens. Helicopter's got the bridge piece. Oh, now I got it. Go into the blue subway. Down, right, two times. And we fixed the bridge. Now we just gotta find that last henchman and we'll be good to go. Uh, there he is. Get back here. Oh, straight to jail for you. Oh, dang it. Okay, oh, hit the wrong hit the wrong direction there. Phone booth, okay. Cross the bridge. Into the subway, and I don't care if the uh, satellite gets me now. It's too late. Three minutes and 36 seconds. All right, well, there you have it. That's how easy it is to beat Superman for the Atari 2600. I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.